Today I'd like to take you through creating my very first DIY at-home ecosystem in a jar. We'll be creating a closed freshwater aquatic ecosystem and the resources will be coming from this local pond. If you'd like to learn more about the other ecosystems you could create at home, go ahead and visit my blog at alwayslivewild.com. First, I started by gathering a good amount of pond water. I know my glass jar is 1.5 liters, so I wanted to make sure I had enough water to fill it. That's enough water. Next, I dug up loose rocks and some sandy dirt for the bottom of the jar, followed by a good amount of mud. I finished gathering the materials by grabbing a chunk of moss and grass from a rock nearby. Here you can see our materials are back at the lab and we're ready to create our ecosystem. This is the 1.5 liter jar washed and dried all ready to add the ingredients. We'll start by adding some rocks and some sandy mud. In hindsight, I would have put a layer of rocks and maybe some charcoal at the bottom to act as a little bit of filter for the system, but I think that this worked all right. I added some small clumps of moss next, followed by some more rocks and then some more dirt. Then, I filled it up to the top with the pond water. It took a while for the water to settle, but I thought it would be really cool to show how the clarity of the water changed from the day that I created the jar to about one week later, which is the picture down in the bottom right hand corner. To end the video, I want to show you two clips of the organisms that are living inside. I've seen lots of these worms uh, tunneling all around, but I'm not really sure what they are, so if you know, you should definitely let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more, please check out my blog at alwayslivewild.com.